Hey Paul, this is Eddie with Multiman Services. Just so happened to be in the area today, so I thought I'd walk around your house quick, introduce myself, kind of talk a little bit about our process on how we would go about uh, getting your home washed up and restored, get, get rid of all that organics. Uh, you did mention roof cleaning. On the front here, there's not much to clean, but on the back side, there is a lot of organic growth. Uh, so we would do a soft wash process on the shingles to uh, eradicate anything that's feasting on the shingles, get that removed, uh, and we'll let that dwell. You, you, you are going to notice some cleaner spots on the front of your roof, but actually it, it could look worse before it gets better. And what I mean by that is, is that because we don't use high pressure to, to power wash your roof, the solution that we use does all the work for us, but it does take some time for Mother Nature to naturally flush all that off your roof when it rains. So you might see some white spots or yellow spots that kind of look like cottage cheese temporarily. Typically I say within the next two to three weeks or the next few hard rains, uh, the roof will look brand new. But your roof actually has some spots where the shingles are damaged and you have a couple of missing shingles. Uh, I would suggest a roof tune-up. Uh, maybe there was a branch or a tree nearby or some wind damage or something, but I'm, s I'm looking, I'm seeing a couple spots where some shingle repairs have done bef been done before. You can kind of see how the shingles are kind of cracking and crumbling. There's a spot right here where I would like to get some roofing sealant to hold all that down. Uh, shingles are starting to lift up. I bring all this up just for the fact that you know, it wouldn't make any sense to do any maintenance on your property, I mean on your roof, if your shingles were at the end of its lifespan, but, and they're close. Um, so we can actually clean it, and after we're done with that, apply a conditioning oil to your shingles, which will give your roof an additional five years life. And it's at that point where it needs some love, it needs a TLC, kind of like an oil change for your car, because uh, just like everything, it needs maintenance. There is no set it and forget it option. This is going to allow for your shingles to be able to breathe, expand, and contract with the hot and cold weather. Allow those seal tabs to re-glue down that haven't already lifted up. It's going to allow your roof to perform and live out its full life expectancy. So uh, check out the options down below for roof maintenance. When it comes to your siding, I think I remember in one of your messages that you said that it's been sealed or stained like 20 years ago, um, which is fine. That's probably all faded away for the most part by now. And what we are going to do is do a gentle detergent, low pressure soft wash on your siding. So that, that, that's gonna get rid of all this grayness, this dinginess. Um, you can see where the sun and the weather really hasn't affected on how the, the wood used to be. But then when, it, when you kind of look down, you can see different processes happening to the wood. And the wood is graying in different fashions as the water is running over it over time. So you kind of look over here, you can see this grayness. I wanted to explain why I'm bringing this up. And you see all this darkness up there. Your soffits up there are really black actually they're full of mold your fascia boards are pretty full of green moss and algae there's some wood rot in the on the back of your house to the right a lot of this black mold but what we're going to do is we are going to effectively apply a solution to your house with no more pressure than a garden hose that's going to get rid of anything that's living and eating your wood the organics mold mildew algae fungus, all of that's going to be effectively cleaned and rinsed off. But that doesn't do anything for the old sealers or how your wood has been weathering over the years. So um, I want to set your expectations up front before we get started on the washing project because sometimes people are just anticipating their wood to look like almost brand new after we get done with the house wash. And when your wood, wood is this old, um, in order to restore wood, to get it to look back to its original state, the amount of steps it takes and the chemicals needed to do that work is almost not worth 
the investment that, and the labor it would take to do it. Um, so I don't know how attached you are to this faux log cabin look <laughs> because, uh, um, you know, soft washing is going to get you about 80% there. You're going to be blown away. You're not going to have any of that dirty gray dinginess there. It's going to be a way brighter house and you'll be super happy with that. But you'll still be left with dry, um, unsealed, unfinished wood and it will still have these weird streak marks. All of this will still be present but all the organics will be removed. Now there is a process that we can use uh, to, to apply to the to remove the sealers. The stripper, um, this the the wood stripper, in essence, is is annoying and painful to use. It burns your flesh and skin. You have to use hazmat suits, gas masks, because if you get it on your skin, you start burning. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go over the process with you in the back here. Um, all of the, the solution that we use to clean your roof and to do the soft wash on your siding, it's going to rain down on this brand new deck you have here, which looks like it's fairly new. It, it does look like it needs to be cleaned. It has some black and green starting to develop. So as a result, we're kind of forced to have to wash your deck. We can't not wash it. I can't tell my cleaner, okay, after you're done washing the siding, don't do anything to my deck below here because it's just, we have to do a whole entire deck wash. Uh, and that also includes what's going on under your deck. Let me jump back there and I'll show you what's happening. Okay, so we got the good and the bad under here. All of that solution that we sprayed on your siding is going to run and rain down in between the boards of your deck and create clean streaks on your rafters. You can kind of already see it um, where the old boards were and it will look worse and funkier if we do not apply a chemical to the lower rafters here. So not only do we have to clean the siding but the under rafters, everything's gonna get treated and, and, and rinsed and your patio down here is gonna be good to go. Um, get your Concrete down here, pressure washed after we're done. Get all that moss off. It's going to be a slip hazard when it's wet. Um, but, you know, I'm sure you are aware of all the areas that your siding is needing some TLC and some love. And, you know, do a wash. That's what we'll do for you. It is not a restoration. It is more of a cleaning process. So it gets rid of anything that's growing or eating your wood. The, the organics um, so to set expectations again if you see all these stripes and streaks really the only way to get that properly removed is if you use lots of different chemicals sodium hydroxide deck strippers um, wood brighteners like oxalic acid and then the moment you use all those chemicals uh, you're also going to be affecting all of these factory painted surfaces so you got to tape all that off. It turns into a pretty lengthy process if you decide to go down the restoration stripping route. So I'm not sure if I'm the right company for you on that. I mean, if you really want me to do it, I can, but I don't enjoy it. I do enjoy soft washing though, and I can get you some, some really good solutions there. I think you'll be really happy. Um, so I'll create some options for you to, you know, restore your roof. Get your siding washed, get your deck washed up, pressure wash the perimeter, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are after watching this video, and we'll get back to you shortly. Thank you. I uh, forgot to mention, I'm just walking around the house here quick, that this gutter is separating from the house. And uh, a gutter tune-up, if it hasn't been done recently, would be suggested off the screws or the brackets. They start, they break and snap. So uh, we'd like to do a gutter tune-up up over here. I think there's too many gutters in the back. Um, but before that falls off and you have to replace it, we can just do a quick tune-up and, and keep it up there. Yeah, we built this house. It was built in 2001. The shingles were actually, I think, 40-year dimensional shingles. But I would have never left them on anywhere near 40 years because they were just getting so unsightly. It lost any sheen it had. It was very dull. And uh, roof max, by when they treated the roof, that all went away, and the shingles looked like they did, to my memory, the day they went on there. 
they did retreat the roof. You know, we're six years past the first treatment and one year past the second one, and this roof's now 21 years old. Has seen some horrendous storms, unfortunately, come through here, and yet my roof still looks like it got put on a few weeks ago versus 21 years ago. The new type of shingles, they don't put the same quality of materials they used to in them, and they begin to dry out. And as I understand, this is some oil-based product that revitalizes the ingredients of the shingle itself. Roof replacement's messy. You get debris in the yard, uh, sometimes things fall off the roof and damage plants, decks underneath and things, accidents like that happen. This was none of that. This was one or two guys up on the roof for part of a day. No mess, other than the fact the roof looked a lot better. You wouldn't even know anybody was here. The reason that I decided to rejuvenate it versus replace is, frankly, it was a fraction of the cost and much more efficient to get it done this way. Anybody that asked me, I would tell them, I think it's worth it. We're seven, six, seven years farther into the life of this roof than I would have allowed it to go. And it looks to be like it's got a lot of life left in it. I'm very pleased that I'm hopefully not going to be replacing the roof anytime soon.